how are your relationships going to transform your experiences in life? How are they going to transform as you systematically raise your vibration with the Taya practice? Hi, I'm David Strickle, creator of the Taya Mindset Practice, and I'm going to talk to you briefly today about expectations as you do this work. As you do the Taya work, as you detune your life's transgressors, as you detune your ego, as you systematically raise your default vibration by eliminating the things in your life that drag it down, you are going to notice changes in your life. Things are going to shift for you on every single topic, ultimately. The big three for most people are health, finances, and relationships. So we're going to focus this Taya talk on relationships because a lot of people are eager to let go of an of a unwanted financial situation and allow more abundance to flow in financially. They are eager to have a better feeling body. They're eager to have better health, but not always so eager to see relationships change, to see perhaps longstanding friendships come to an end, see people fade away from your life that you're used to having around. And I think part of that is because we live in this matrix. I talk about the matrix all the time. We live in this matrix that tells us that good friendships and romantic relationships are supposed to be till death do us part forever. We have been friends forever. We'll be friends forever. Uh, we like to believe that we're going to know these people that we care about deeply in other ways and other lifetimes. We really get attached to the people in our lives. But I have noticed in teaching Taya to, to other people over the years and in myself that we get really attached to people and it gets comfortable, but the relationship is not always what I would call healthy. Now, I'm not trying to get overly judgmental about the nature of any relationship, but if that person is loving and appreciating you and loving and appreciating the journey you're on, whatever journey that is, that's a pretty high vibrational situation, in my opinion. But if they are comfortable with the old version of you, and now they are choosing to be threatened or annoyed, which is just another version of being threatened, really, by the more abundant version of you, you have a choice to make. Are you going to lower your vibration, at least when you're interacting with th this person, to stay in vibrational alignment with them? Or are you going to allow that relationship to evolve to whatever it will be, even if it's the end of it? I will tell you that as you systematically raise your vibration, you are going to see some relationships end, perhaps even a romantic relationship, uh, perhaps even a very close friendship. You can see these things come to an end because you have done so much work to raise your vibration that as much as you want to appreciate them for what they are and how they are and who they are without needing them to change, which is very Taya, that doesn't mean they're practicing the same thing. You may be in appreciation of them, but that does not necessarily mean that they are in turn or in appreciation of you. And if they're really bothered by you, the friendship is probably going to end, or at least it's going to soften, if you will. So how do you manage that? Well, where I guide you to in this practice is always appreciation of all things, which would also mean appreciation for them how they are, but understanding that if they are pulling away from you in your higher vibrational state, you are actually getting clarity. You're getting clarity that their preference for you was the old version of you that, that wasn't your preference. So you have a misalignment there in this relationship. And either they get up to speed and appreciate you or they're not going to want to be around you. You're going to bother them. And, and appreciating all things, you can actually appreciate that. You can appreciate the fact that you are no longer in vibrational alignment with this friendship and trusting your abundance, allow it to, to fade, understanding that other things will flow in. Maybe other people, maybe not. Maybe a whole new experience of you loving yourself so much that you are appreciating your solitude more than ever before. One of the things I noticed for myself was that I, as I got into this practice and got into the stream's guidance in my 40s, I really got into being alone and being in a quiet space. There was a time, a long time, uh, my teens, 20s, and 30s, where I had to have noise all the time. I could not be in my house alone without some sort of music playing or television on or something that was accompanying me in that space. 
And I know now it's because I didn't like being with me. I needed some other version of some other person there interacting to distract me from the fact that I was quote unquote alone. Well, since I've had my spiritual awakening and, and really going deep into this practice, I love my quiet time now. I love my solitude. I love sitting in the house just in silence and meditating and doing those things. I don't want to live all of my life like that, but I do love and cherish that time. And I have also had really good friends exit my life. And one uh, friendship was a sort of a long distance friendship that survived a decade by coastal. And it was one that I cherished very much. And then when we got together in physical presence, we weren't just texting and, and, and chatting for a few minutes on the phone. We were actually together for a few days. I came to understand how misaligned we now were that I had done this work and really moved my vibration up. And the other person just wasn't in alignment with me anymore. There was still a lot of fear and a lot of judgment going on for them. And I had to move through detuning my judgment of that. And I did that rather quickly and efficiently, but accepting the, the ultimate loss of the friendship, I have now not spoken to this person in months and having to move through that experience of, okay, I thought I would be friends with this person for the rest of my life. I thought this friendship was actually a stronger bond than family. And I came to understand that it wasn't, it wasn't because I still speak to my family. They have, they have stuck with me throughout all of the changes that I've gone through in my life, appreciating me from somewhat of a distance for sure, but we're still connected. We're still talking where the friendship ended. So I have certainly had my share of romantic relationships that I have moved through as I have grown and matured as a human being. I outgrew these romantic relationships. I've had two divorces now, and now I'm in a relationship that I did not manifest until I was after 50 that is so aligned and so good, the best that I've ever had. And I understand now that, okay, I needed to be up to speed with this vibrational space to manifest this type of person that I was maybe aspirational about, but I wasn't ready for them. Now I am. And now that's my experience. So I don't look at my two divorces as failed relationships at all. I look at it, both of them as experiences that I had that I was up to speed with when I was in them. I moved through those experiences. I was made a more sophisticated version of myself in the having of those experiences. And I appreciate them for what they were. And I have nothing but positive memories of these relationships now because the, the negative aspects don't have an impact on me because they've all been detuned. That's the, the same thing goes for these friendships that I'm talking about. The friendships will flow in and flow out as a vibrational match to where you are. Everything will. Your financial situation, the place where you live, your career, your health, whatever's going on for you, Nothing in this physical environment was ever designed to be forever. That's why I don't necessarily believe that our strands of consciousness are intertwined forever with another person. Maybe they are, but I don't have any awareness of that. The stream never guided me to that knowledge. So I believe that the, the human version of the people that I resonate with now, I'm having that high vibrational experience of, of being in the presence of of these people and having this set of circumstances is my life. It could all change tomorrow. My vibe could shift. Things could flow away, but I'm not worried about that because I now know how powerful my ability to manifest is as you all are. And that if something goes away, something else is going to come and take its place. And I can allow that experience of loss to be one of suffering, or I can allow it to be one of appreciation. I'm always going to choose appreciation. I'm going to appreciate, as Source does, what was. I'm going to appreciate that there is no longer a vibrational alignment with this, so therefore I'm not experiencing it anymore. And I'm going to appreciate the fact that there are other things that I have yet to experience. That's the high vibrational opinion of Source. I am always seeking to align with that, as opposed to this should not be. This is wrong. That shouldn't have ended. Oh, that was a failure. Oh, that was a waste of my time. It wasn't. It, was, it will never be a waste of your time because it was a reflection of exactly where you were in the experience, in the moment. So I guide all of you to consider looking at your landscape of relationships, past and present, and find appreciation for the past, 
find appreciation for the present, understanding that that need for them to always be around or to be here tomorrow or, or to, to always be in your life, do you have a vibration of need there? And are you altering your vibration when you're around them in order to be around them? And do you choose to do that? You get to discern your preference. We're not telling you you're not allowed to do that in Taya because there's no rules in Taya. But if your focus is to raise your vibration systematically and you continue to raise your vibration and you get more and more uh, into a rift with someone that you care about, are you appreciating that perhaps it's time to move on from that relationship or that friendship? And know that this isn't about having to sever ties with people. These things happen naturally. These things happen naturally. I have found that when I just go into that appreciation mode and I'm in the solving mode, things just sort of fall away and fade away. And I don't even feel the need for closure. This, this whole thing, I could do a whole tie talk on closure. In fact, I think I will. Because that whole concept of closure, again, has judgment in it that there's something wrong and I need to close this and I need to wrap it up and I need to have some sort of uh, different opinion because I've had this interaction. You really don't. You can have that opinion if you want, but I have found that I don't have to have that closure conversation with someone. The relationship had a beginning, a middle, and an end, like all things in physical do, and we were no longer vibrationally aligned. I appreciate it for what it was. I appreciate them for what they are, but I don't have that vibration of need. And I will end this with one other thing. Notice for yourself, if you are, are sort of sitting in, in your meditation time today and you're taking stock of what is the nature of my relationships? Do I have some friendships and some relationships that I have kind of gotten complacent in and we're really not a vibrational match anymore, but I just keep them going because I don't know what else to do. If you find yourself making excuses for them, to other people or to yourself, well, this is that's just how they are. And think about that. Is that a sign that you're no longer vibrationally aligned with them? And then instead of severing ties or getting closure, just appreciate them for exactly as they are. Because if you're making excuses, that means you're judging. And if you're judging, that means that there is a lower, lower than source vibration present in that situation. So think about the friendship. Notice that, oh, I, I do give them a lot of concessions and I do make excuses for them to myself and to other people. I appreciate that. I appreciate that I had that experience. I appreciate that they are that way. I'm going to stop making the excuses. I'm just going to appreciate them exactly as they are and see what happens. See what happens organically. You do not have to be the ender of the relationship. Just sh shower them with appreciation for exactly who and how they are and see what happens with them. It might make the relationship stronger. It might improve things. I've seen that happen in boot camp. I've seen it go both ways because there's two parties at least at play in these scenarios. So you can't control the other party. You only have control over your opinion of things. And when you start to shift your opinion of things, that changes the, the energy, the energetic signature of the relationship. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to come to an end. They might follow you up your spiral. They might appreciate that you're no longer judging them because it doesn't matter whether you verbalize that judgment to them or not. If you are thinking it and making excuses behind their backs, that's a rift in that vibration. That's, that's something that's less than source vibration that is present in that relationship. And they know it. They may not be able to articulate it the way that somebody practicing Taya does, but they still know it. They're aware of it. They feel it. Their, their inner being, if you will, knows that very, very well. That that, that that vibration is not the highest of vibrations. And that friendship is not all that it can be, even if the can be is a positive memory of it. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching live. I see that uh, there's some people watching live right now. And, uh, and all of you watching in the future, please, wherever you're watching this, comment and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have additional questions. You can always tag me in anything. And if I see the tag, I will come back and, and elaborate a little further. Thanks so much for watching Taya Talk.